okay we successfully installed the sql server on the node 2 click next close the installation window now if we go and see the cluster this is the cluster we just uh, created right click on that cluster refresh now if we go and see the network name go to the advanced tabs you will see the both the nodes are checked okay so that means both the nodes are participating in this cluster okay this sql server cluster node 1 is the owner for this cluster node 2 is the owner okay this is active active installation this is active active cluster setup okay if we fail over this then node 1 will be processing no uh, both the sql server clusters okay let us see let us do that we are manually failing over the sql server cluster to the node 1 okay now both the clusters node 1 is processing both the clusters similarly we can manually fail over both the clusters onto the node 2 okay. let us see what else we need to cover in this video okay we we completed this step now we are going to install analysis services cluster okay um, we can add we cannot add any any services uh, for the sql server cluster okay but while installing sql server failover cluster we can select a database engine analysis services etc etc but not after the after the sql server uh, cluster is created okay but it is not recommended to keep the analysis services in the same resource group as SQL Server, okay? Because it shares the uh, the CPU, the hard drive, everything, the resources. So it is always better to keep the analysis services in a different resource group, okay? So uh, we will install analysis services, and for the analysis services, we need the network name and IP address uh, one one shared disk okay i think we don't have the shared disk we need to create one for the analysis services and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, we can start uh, installing analysis services okay let us see what ip address we have assigned for analysis services okay 116 this is the ip address we reserved for analysis services okay again start installing sql server not the complete installation just the analysis services we already have the installation panel open so again start installing new sql server failover cluster installation okay before that before that 
let us quickly do certain things right now both the nodes uh, both the clusters are processed by the node 1 let us fail over one of them to the node 2 so that it will be easy for us to install on node 1 okay and also we need to create a shared disk for the analysis services for that what we need to do uh, we have we are creating the shared disk on the cluster DC domain on that mission typically uh, it will be a sand sand disk or um, EFDs like that but uh, for the demo purposes I'm just in creating this uh, shared disk on domain controller which is not a good idea but it works double click on the star wind console we used all the four disks now we need to create one more disk for the SSAS disk okay hard disk image file that is fine create create it because we don't have that location will be this is where we are storing all the images the shared disk so store the shared shared disk for SSS here the size will be yeah 250 512 give 512 MB this is must select that click next 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 finish we have successfully created the the disk so the star wind will uh, enable the storage to make it available over IP we can go to the node 1 and use that shared disk okay the discovery IP address is already there and if you go to the targets refresh you should see one more disk that we just added okay select that click log on select this option click ok and say ok go to the computer management format the disk so that it will be available for the cluster this is how you, you add a disk to the cluster go to the disk management you will see the new disk okay which is unallocated this is the one we added right click make it online initialize the disk okay keep MBR create new simple volume I drive that is fine NTFS the volume label is uh, SSAS okay perform quick format finish okay let's go to the cluster management go to the storage and add a disk because we don't have any available disk no no 
good disk suitable for cluster okay the problem is we added the, the shared disk on node 1 okay but we also need to do the same procedure on node 2 we need to add the shared disk on node 2 and after that we can make it available to the cluster On the node 2, we need to do the similar procedure. Open the IceCase initiator, refresh the target. So, refresh the available targets. Okay, this is the one we added for SSIS. That's it. This is available for the node 2. Now, we can add the disk to the cluster okay before adding let us make sure this appears on the node 2 Okay, uh, here you can see offline. We need to add this, make it online. Okay, we don't need to initialize a format because it's already done by the node one. We already we already done that in, in node one. So the moment we say online, that is fine. So just close this window, go to the node one and add the disk for the cluster now it should show that okay this is the one we added say okay we successfully added disk to the cluster we can use this for SSAS okay let's start installing SSAS click new SQL Server failover cluster installation Okay, click OK. We can close the computer management. Click install. okay uh, there are few warnings but that is fine click next okay okay here we need to select analysis services and if we want we can select business intelligence development studio but uh, I'm not going to select that here so just analysis service is fine because this is analysis services cluster group enter the new network name development uh, SSAS CLU SQL 2K8 this is instance 2 because we already have the default instance and the name named instance this is uh, another named instance for SSAS okay click next As you can see here, this is uh, RTM and this is SP1. So we applied SP1 
on this sorry on this default um, cluster group not on the name of the cluster group. click next okay this will be instance the resource group name that is fine we can keep it click next cluster disk 5 is available that is fine click next and we have assigned IP address I guess 116 we need to give that yeah 116 okay click next click next here we will select 